Can you tell me more about that? Can you tell me about your um, performance a while back during the preliminary competition? Um, I was giving my, my best on that time on that to win the car. It's my surface. Is this your first time in the national stage? Yes, it's my first time. How do you feel about it? It's been great. Like, it's a good, um, it is a good experience. Mm -hmm. And what are your expectations come tomorrow, which is the final step? Um, for me, it is either win or lose. I will um, always gain. Uh, oh, actually, in life, we don't take losses as a um, ending or is the end of our life story. It, it is a learning and lesson to be to become a better person. Do you have any pressure or do you feel any pressure of uh, representing Cebu City, which is part of, uh, I mean, representing the now City, which is part of Cebu, right? And there's always these high expectations of Cebu representatives. Yes, it's actually this uh, um, high, high pressure for me because um, I am representing the now City for this international project. And how do you feel about that? Any pressure? Yes, I am so uh, intense and I'm so nervous. At, at the same time, I'm um, happy like competing this time. Alright, thank you so much Mr. Danau and looking forward on your uh, performance for tomorrow. Thank you. Hello Mark, my name is Francois Diaz from Pageant Mac Philippines. So welcome to our channel. Thank you so much Pageant Mac Philippines for having me. I am Mark Jason Sester and I'm proud to represent the province of Laguna. Hmm. What's the best thing in Laguna? Can you tell me about it? As a Laguna, we are blessed with so much things to honor. From our delicacies, that is now what we taste, we can be proud of it. Of course, the majestic waterfalls that you can visit there. And if you're gonna go there, and I am willing to um, tour you there. Mm -hmm. So what makes you to be the Mr. Friendship Philipp International Philippines? Um, I think because I am I mean, being Mr. Friendship International Philippines is, uh, as I heard a lot of good things from this pageant, I it became my uh, one of my dream. And of course, this is my first pageant, and I'm very hardworking, and I always have this perseverance to reach those goals. And uh, I am very excited to get her, I mean, for the challenges together with the title, which is Mr. President International Philippines. So I will be able to make a greater impact, not just only to my community or to my province, but also to the whole Philippines. How significant it is for you to win the crown? I think um, that is very significant to me because my family who expect, I mean, they're expecting me to win this. Much from you. I'm sorry? They're expecting much from you. Yes, they're expecting, of course, my happiness. And I don't want that. I don't want to have, get them upset for me. So I will give my best to win the crown. So you're up to winning actually, right? Yeah. So um, what's your, how, how would you feel if, oh well, I'm not, um, I'm not giving you any negative, um, negative vibes, no? But if I may ask, how would you handle if you won't win? Yeah. I think it's just acceptance because this is a competition. There are always uh, one winner. And if I'm not, um, not able to be the title, so I will accept it. But I pressure the experiences with my co candidates that they give me or they, that we have because that is one thing that we can treasure. So, so far from the few days that you've been 
um, with your fellow candidates, what has been the most significant uh, moments that you can share to us? Um, last night, we have this thing now. We have, uh, we have exchanged gifts from each other. And I think that is one of the significant things that happened in our journey here in Mr. Friendship International Food is that, again, I can treasure it. Alright, so um, your closer interview is happening today. So, how do you feel about that? I feel nervous, but I'm always grateful, grateful to this moment. So, good luck to you, Mark, and wishing you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you for gracing Fashion Magazine. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Mark. So my name is Franz Rodriguez from Pageant Mag Philippines. Welcome to our channel. Thank you, Papa. All right, can you tell us more about yourself, please? Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Sino, and I am from the Club. So basically, right now, I am representing Sush, which is the Club. I am a licensed professional teacher. I took the board exam last year. Uh, I mean, this year, and I uh, successfully passed it. So right now, as of the moment, I am taking experiences in a BPO industry, but in the near future, I'm going to do uh, my teaching career. So um, I'm also a breadwinner of our family. I'm the first amongst the six children, and uh, I am also doing this for my family. Wow, that's great. So first off, congratulations for passing the let right the licensure examination for teachers right so congratulations for that um so you're a licensed teacher so therefore um you've already experienced teaching right uh, i experienced teaching like what is teaching in our university in our integrated number of school we teach um junior high school to senior Ah, that's By the cool. way, I am a mathematics maker, so I teach mathematics to children. Wow, that's great. So I'm not good at mathematics, so we, we won't be talking about mathematics. However, as a teacher, you are expected to, um, well, I mean, um, students are expected to learn from you, right? Yes. Now, as a teacher, what could students learn from you? I think, um, as a teacher, um, one of the best learning that my students can earn or get to me is hard work. And as we all know, teachers are hard working for so many years. They are um, doing all their best just to give the proper education that these children and students deserve. So right now, if I am going to teach, I want to share to my students that hard work is really important. Wow, amazing. Now, Marik, um you are a licensed teacher, but you chose to join the pageantry instead of practicing your profession. Why did you do, Why did you do, Did you decide to do so? As what I have said, I'm just experiencing first experience in BPO industry. Gaining friends, a gaining experience. Uh, gaining experience in BPO industry. So basically, I just passed the board exam, I just finished my oath taking. So when I get my card for the license, I'm going to teach in the future. So regarding with pageantry, I actually joined this pageant because I see this as a platform for me to take the opportunity to showcase myself, my talent, and whatever I can do as well. And to add, I am also, I think I pageant is also a um, platform where I can do more. So that's it. I join pageants not only to shine, or not only for fame, but also I have a purpose. I want also to share my advocacy to everybody about teaching. So what platform do you want to share to the audience? Uh, actually, I have a TikTok account, social media account called Facebook, and I have thousands of followers. So I think this platform, the social media, I can use this to show my advocacy. Basically, I'm a teacher, so I'm going to teach people. I'm going to share my experiences, what I've gained from studying, and I want also to 
I'm sure to everybody that if you're just uh, doing great in life, you will be going smoothly. And I want people also to realize that education is indeed our key to success. All right. And today you're going to have your closed door interview, right? So, how did you prepare for that? Actually, uh, I prepared for that by reading documentaries, watching interview videos, watching Q and A sessions with different pageant uh, officials, and also I didn't get so much preparation for this because I'm working in BPO industry, so basically my communication skill is already honed. So I just don't um, practice it by reading and add vocabularies and other information in my head. And once I get the question, basically I can um, speak with you online. All right, congratulations and good luck to you, Mark, on the pre preliminary. I know, I mean, closer interview later on, and of course for the finals tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Well, thank you guys. Hi Nikki, my name is Francois from Pageant Mag Philippines. So welcome to our channel. Alright, Nikki, uh, can you tell us more about yourself? I am Marcus to see Marita and I am the eldest among our sisters and I am not only uh, pageant enthusiast, but I'm only, I am, I am also only, uh, I'm only, I am also serving the Lord. Wow, and I am also an uh, altar server. An altar server? Yes. Wow, that's great. I thought you were a seminarian. <laughs> then, uh, do you have plans to become a seminar, to, 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 to become a priest? Minor seminary. Pero sabi ko, isa lang akong lalaki sa aming magkakapatid. Oh. Hindi daw ako magkakapatid. Parami na aming apelido. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, uh, God, vocation is always a God's call. So, we'll never know. Maybe after this pageant, you'll be entering the seminary who knows right yes it's a call it's a call why not if you're called to be one of the god servants right so why did you join mr friendship international philippines uh, i joined mr friendship international philippines to para mas marami pa akong makilala ng mga iba't ibang mga candidates na sa ibang lugar at uh, to gain more confidence and to be the best version of myself. Wow, be the best version of yourself. What do you think um, can Mr. Friendship International help you with your personal development? Or I mean personality development. Sir, friendship. Uh, ako po ay isang friendly tao din. Uh, ganito lang yung itsura ko. Mukhang mataray pero ako po ay friendly. Kasi yung mata ko po ay parang gagali. So far, ano na yung natutunan mo o na-enjoy mo sa mga kapwa mo? Um, kandidata. Kandidata. Ah, Tutunan ko pong yung mga iba't ibang lingwahe nila. Kagayo yung kapangpangan. Mm -hmm. At saka yung pagiging yun, friendly sa mga kanila kahit iba't ibang mga attitude. Ganyan. Ano na yung pinaka-memorable na moment since you started Mr. Friendship International Philippines? Yung pinaka-magandang moment is yung yung pumunta ka sa stage at kasi nung national na daw kasi uh, yung re-represent ko ay uh, yung province of Leyte nakaka proud at uh, and I am proud of myself na uh, nakatungtong ako sa ganyan ng stage Alright, thank you so much Nikki and wishing you all the best on your closer interview that's happening right? Thank you, thank you. 
Hi, Jordi. Yeah, my name is Franz Rodriguez from Pageant Mag Philippines. So, how are you? Uh, okay, naman. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you tell us more about yourself, Jordi? Uh, my name is Mark Jordi Tapiana, and I'm 19 years old. Kaka birthday ko lang last week. Um, so, kung hindi nyo po natatandang, ako po yung pinakapatang candidate dito sa Mr. Friendship Philippines International Philippines 2023. Um, ako yung hindi po na tao na yung para kaibigan. Ako po yung para uh, bunso nila dito. Wow, that's great! And so, happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. I won't say belated because <laughs> I won't say belated because it's still in the month anyway. Okay, so happy birthday to you. So you mentioned a while ago that you're the youngest. Ikaw yung pinakabata among all the 19 candidates, right? So um, how does it feel about being the youngest? May so, special ano ba, treatment? Yes po. Um, actually, uh, halos sila, uh, lahat sila uh, close ko na po. Kasi uh, hindi naman po dapat natin tanuhin na sa sarili natin na hindi tayo dapat makipagsalungo sa iba. So we need to, ano, uh, kailangan po natin makipagsalungo sa iba para makilala nyo po yung isa't isa. Bilang nakakabata po sa kanila, ano yung respeto po po sila bilang kuya po. Ayun. So, um, what do you think is your advantage as well, being the youngest? My advantage? Siguro, para sa akin, para sa akin, uh, yung kulay ko po. Which is uh -oh. kayo man, yung pili 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 uh, Angela City. Ay, Angela City. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. At least Pampanga pa rin. So, still, um, the, you're the host province. Uh, you're the host candidate for uh, Mr. Friendship International Philippines. Um, what do you think are the chances of winning? Uh, for me, chances of winning is uh, kung paano binigay yung best mo. Kasi pag binigay yung best mo, yun palang panarapan. And how did you welcome your fellow brothers, I mean your brothers, um, as a host candidate? Um, I welcome my brothers. Isa lang sinasabi ko sa kanil, kung ano man ang nakakamit ko, maging proud ko. Dahil para sa inyo. Bakit significant sa'yo ang Mr. Friendship International Philippines 2023 crown? Bakit importante sa iyo? Uh, actually, pag importante sa akin is makilala ko rin sila. Uh, dahil doon pa lang po panalong panalo na. Uh, which is, uh, ang pagkakakang pagiging panalo, yung pagkakaroon po ng crown is bonus na lang po. Dahil siguro kapag nanalo ka doon, binigay po ko kasi yung best. Kaya doon yung uh, deserving ang isang panalo. Okay, so later on you will be having your closer interviews, right? How did you prepare for that? Actually, I'm not prepared. Uh, kinakabahan po. <laughs> Pero lalaban po ba? Just be yourself and, uh, you know, just answer the questions according to your gut feel. Okay, thank you so much. So good luck to you. Good luck to you, Jervi, and yeah, God bless. Thank you po. And shout out to na po yung mabalakenyos dyan. Hello, mabalakas City. Uh, my name is Mark Jervi Pabiana. 19 years old, mabalakas City. Uh, thank you, sir. Hi, Christian. So my name is Franz Rodriguez from Budget Bank Philippines. Welcome to our channel, Christian. So how are you? Uh, I'm doing great. So before we do we go further question, can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Hi, I'm Palasi Christian Jen Simpao, 20 years old and I represent the Kesson Province. Kesson Province. What's the best thing about Kesson Province? 
unang-una ang pinaka-best doon sa aming lugar ay aming nyo. Kasi yun ang nagpapakilala sa aming bayan. Christian, if I am... Um... If I can, if I can still um, remember vividly, the first time I met you was during the SCI uh, screening, right? And when I asked you about joining the pageant, you were not interested interested about it. So what motivated you to turn around from that uh, thoughts? Yeah, ako maging predictable. Alam mo naman si Sir, hindi niya alam na makikita niya ako dito. Ang uh, gusto ko lang kasi ma-prove ko sa aming bayan at sa sarili ko na kaya ko lang makasad yung mga expectation at lahat ng limitado sa buhay ko. Kaya ako sumali ko at muli re-represent ako sa aming bayan. So, salamat na. <laughs> Before you joined uh, Mr. Philippines International Philippines 2023, what have you been doing? What um ano yung pinagkakabalahan mo? Kasi bago po ako last year, bago po ako mag-aral, nag-stop po ako sa pag-aral. Nagtrabaho po ako sa Baguio City. Baguio City. Ay, marami po ako nag-aaral. Medyo nakikita ko. Kaya, Nagkaaral na rin po ako. Sabay, sa binigyan po ko ng oportunidad sa STI College ng Sena na nasumali sa unang budget ko. Yun. Yun po ang una ko. First time na budget ko sa school namin. So, yun po. Na gusto. When was that? Uh, last year po. Uh, October 21, 2020. Okay. Kinala naman po ako noon. Na makuha yung first runner-up. Sa so, first time ko na pagsali. Medyo great for me. At dun ko rin po nakuha yung ano, Mr. SCI sa ano yun. Si ako po Mr. SCI na. Ah, SCI. SCI, SCI sir. Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin, when the first time, when we met you, may pageant history ka na rin. May pageant backgrounds ka na rin. Yung po, first time sa SCI oh, oh. sa po. Yung first time po. Okay. So, ano yun ang feeling mo that you're competing in the national states? Oh, medyo... Medyo kinakabahan ako na excited kasi nga first time ko lumaban sa national station ko. Ang dami palang sumusuporta sa iyo pag ito ako ano. Hindi lang pamilya mo kundi yung mga kababayan mo. At nagpapasalamat po ako at ako ang pinili nilang lumaban at yung mga ano, kanilang lugar sa Exxon Province. Ayun. Um, from a few days ago, you've already started this um, competition, right? Yes. What has been the most um, significant moment that you like the most? Uh, yung sinasabi ko, yung pagsali ko last year dun, so, hindi ko po in-expect na mananalo ako eh. Kasi first time, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, dito as Mr. Friendship, Friendship International for Friendship. Friendship, yes. Pag-gusto mo naman po dito yung uh, una-una yung mga kasama ko na kandays na pag-welcome yun sa akin. Sobrang babayit po nila. Sobrang. Kaya na, nagpapasalamat po ako sa mga kandays ko na natutulong, nagtutulungan kami. Nagpapakilala sa isa ko sa at maganda yung sama. Maganda po talaga dito sa Mr. Friendship International Philippines. Talagang lahat kayo na hindi magkakalala. Magkakalala rin kayo. Magiging pwede pa kami yung favorite. So later on, you will be facing the panel for closer interview, right? How do you feel about that? How did you prepare for it? Ha, sa totoo lang, hindi ako nag-prepare eh. Kung ano na lang ang pukasabi ko at kung anong tanong nila. At yun ang sasabi ko, kung anong tanong nila. That's great! So just be yourself. Yes. Okay, so thank you so much, um, Christian, and wishing you all the best and God bless on your closer interview. And of course, for the coronation night too. Thank you so much. Thank you for gracing our chat. Hi, Kit. My name is Francois from Pageant Mag Philippines. So, welcome to our channel. Okay. Kit, um, I believe this is the first time that we are meeting each other. So can you please introduce yourself to our audience and to myself as well? Um, hi guys, I am Christian Vincent Paxson, 25 years old, representing Barakina City. I am. I studied psychology and after that I, I studied culinary. Mm -hmm. And I am a licensed diver. I have three licenses in scuba diving. Uh, 
I often play golf. And oh I work man. in I work in Makati as admin executive. Wow, that's great. So you're talking with an administrator. All right. So uh, Bim said that you are an administrator, right? So working as an administrator, so therefore you have already um, an you already have an ample of achievements under your belt, mm -hmm. right? So why did you still have to join Mr. Fresh or this kind of pageant? Should you have all those achievements already? To be honest, this is my first time mm -hmm. joining a national pageant, but before. I was doing modeling and um, a little of print ads um, before when I was in ele when I was elementary and high school. I was doing part-time modeling, uh -huh. but it's just a small-time modeling agency. Okay, so why did you eventually try pageantry after twenty-five years? Mm. I guess I need to escape this box. I need to explore more. Mm. Okay. And why Mr. Friendship, of all the options that you could have actually in the national meal pageants? Mr. Friendship, because... Mm, actually, I don't know. Siguro destiny lang na Mr. Friendship lang yung nandito na pageant ngayon. Eh, sa tingin ko, medyo ready na din naman ako. So, titry ko na. Uh, uh, fun fact, una kong pumunta, um, nung go see, isa ko sa unang pumunta, then ako lang mag-isa. Pumunta ako, sabi ko, pwede ba magbura? Sabi ko, bakit? Uh, pumunta ako. <laughs> okay, so, so far, you started the pageant a few days ago already, right? Yeah. So which one, or at least can you share to us the most um, significant moment you've had with them, if you could? Significant with my co- With your fellow co candidates. Okay. Um, ano ba? Kasi naging sobrang close kami, so walang significant. Lahat ng... Lahat ng moment na magkakasama kami sobrang saya. Wala, walang, walang dull moment sa amin. Lahat nagjo-joke. Parang matatagal na namin magkakaibigan. Ayun yung masaya sa amin. So wala akong masasabi ng isang event. Okay, so what are you here for? I am here just to experience the budget. I don't want to expect because I, I know this is my first time and there are a lot of candidates that are better but it's up to the judges mm -hmm. okay so there's usual there's usually standard in male pageantry or even in all pageants so there's always standards well for some they already eliminated the age uh, requirement and the height requirement how about here in mr international mr friendship um international philippines what can you say about the standards height requirement um, in particular? Um, so, I think it's the not strict na male budget na narinig ko or na alam ko kasi they are open for all. Pending trans, pending married, pending may anak. Actually, no, alam ko no age requirements. Eh. So, Sa tingin ko, sobrang ganda nun para sa pageantry kasi hindi lang naman nag end yung pwede mong ibigay sa tao, di ba? Actually, pageantry is entertainment. Lahat naman tayo kaya natin mag-entertain. That's correct. So, um, later on, you will be having your closed door interview, yeah. right? And tomorrow, it's gonna be your final night. So, how did you prepare for the closed door interview later on? Uh, ito na to. Naging, uh, ito na yung preparation ko na nagsasalita <laughs> This na interview. Uh, yeah. Bale, ito na yun. <laughs> That's great, um, Kit. And I'm really uh, blessed to have met you here. And would just like to co congratulate you so far. And well, wishing you all the best for the next events that you have. And God bless you always. Thank you guys.
Hi Victor, so my name is Fresh from Pageant Mike Philippines and welcome to our channel. How are you? Uh, hi guys, I'm Victor and I am, I am representing Tagig City at Mr. Friendship International Philippines 2023 and I'm doing good. Um, uh, a bit ang uh, nakinakabahan kasi nakakapos na ng preliminary namin and coming up next is the close their interview but I'm doing it. Alright, congratulations so far and congratulations for making this for us while in your pageant journey and yeah um you have started the pageant i mean the competition like few days ago what has been the most memorable for you i think the most memorable moment for us candidates or for me is when we had the poodle fight before the preliminary competition um it's the day we celebrate our friendship and the day before the schedule become hectic because of so many practice. So I think that we, we were able to share so many memories with that Boodle Pie to tell stories about at, um, our own and other candidates. It's good to know their life while eating in a Boodle Pie. So at the moment, or yeah, at the moment, there are many options on male pageantry. So why did you choose to join Miss Friendship International Philippines instead the others otherwise? Um, actually, um, I, I tried to screen these um, pageants, but uh, however, I'm not able to um, pass the screening in some pageants. So with that, I, I said to myself that I will train myself to grow more and to show that next time I audition, I will be able to show um, what is the result of my training. So I joined Mr. Friendship International Philippines because I really want to showcase or to inspire others by the use of platform of my advocacy, which is anti bullying When the word friendship, it creates connection, friendship, and um, good harmony with people. So since I've experienced bullying before when I was younger, I want to inspire other people that wants a bullet man like me because of my body, because of how I look, it's not in the pageantry. That if I can do it, you can do it too. As long as you believe in yourself, you put hard work on it, especially during the times that you will give up. I will say that push yourself hard and believe that there is still people that that are believing in you and that will give you strength to continue the journey. You mentioned earlier that you failed from the other uh, pageants, the other national pageants. What um, lesson have you learned from that failures? Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for that question. Um, the lesson that I've learned from those previous pageants is I think that you should be more prepared, especially physically and mentally. When you are answering the judge's question, it should come from your heart. Then you make sure that it, um, the judges will feel how you answer. Because that is the most important thing that they are looking for a candidate or from some applicant of the pageant. And I think I was able to develop that within myself that when I am answering, I make sure that it comes from my heart and also um, to prepare your physical body. Since this is a pageant, it should be um, both ways, the physical and emotional aspect that they are looking for. So why do you think you should be the Mr. Friendship International Philippines 2023? I think I should win Mr. Friendship International uh, Philippines 2023 because I have shown my unwavering dedication. Dedication that put me into this place. Um, I have shown that despite of many challenges and trials that I face, I failed some screenings, I failed some pageant. Well, that is not the reason for me to give up. That is something that I am proud of myself. I have the attitude of not giving up. That is why whatever happened, I will keep fighting. I will keep pushing myself until the very end and no regrets because I will do my very best to this pageant. Alright, thank you so much, uh, Victor. And yeah, good luck as well on your closer interview that's happening later on. And of course, on the final side or the coronation night that's happening tomorrow. So, God bless you always. Thank you, thank you. And please watch our finals this coming September 24 here at System Plus College, 6 p.m. Hello,
Hi Dove, my name is Francois from Budget Bank Philippines and welcome to our channel. So how are you? Actually, I'm thankful that I am here right now. Good, so congratulations for, so far. You've come this far, so I believe that you're doing very well. Alright, so uh, Dove, can you please tell us about yourself? I'm Daph Indurcel M. Dragal. I am representing the province of Samoa. And I am part of the Philippine Army. Okay, so, um, Daph, how do you feel about the competition so far? Actually, I am happy and for this competition that, that I am here. Okay. Why did you choose Mr. Friendship International Philippines instead of um, some other options actually? Yes. I choose Mr. Friendship Philippines because of its theme. Friendly. Yes. <laughs> Make friends. Make friends and uh -huh. embracing diversity and encouraging uh -huh. the so what are you looking forward in Mr. Friendship International of Philippines? What are you looking forward? What are you looking forward? Ano yung um, nilu look forward? Ano nga ba Actually, I am just actually this is my first time in a pageant, and I'm here in national pageant. I'm here best and humble. I am just experiencing and seeking for a new opportunity. What has been your most significant moment that you can share to us since you started the pageant? Actually, it is the person, it is the people. It is the people that I am with, my brothers and Mr. Kenshi. So how did you prepare for your closer interview that's happening later on? Actually, in my closed door interview, I am just I will just answer what they will ask. Okay, so good luck and God bless you always. Yes. Thank you so much once again. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hi Mel, my name is Francois from Pageant Mag Philippines. So, welcome to our channel. Hello Pageant Mag Philippines, my name is Melvin po from Talisa. So, alam niyo na po. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's from Cebu, yun yung ibig sabihin niyang alam niyo na po. <laughs> Anyways, Mel, um, you are new to us and of course to our audience. So, can you tell us more about yourself? So, um, I'm a type of person po na um, outgoing at um, marami po akong mga kaibigan dyan na nang mayroon sila na naka, ano, nakalike nito. Or, um, I would say I am a person who uh, best fits in uh, friendship. So, dito po sa pageant na to, um, siguro I am best fit na naging um, include or I was included as uh, one of the uh, one contestants. of the yeah, contestants or contenders ng uh, Mr. Friendship kasi nga, um, I am a friendly person Wow! Yeah. Being Mr. Friendship <laughs> Anyways, so um, there are a lot or there are a lot of options actually in um, the male pageants here in the Philippines, right? Well, in national pageants, male, uh, national pageants for male, right? So, why did you choose to serve friendship in international Philippines other than those? Okay, again po, yung sa answer ko po kanina, um, again, this pageantry or this, um, this pageant is best fits on me. And because, um, as a person, I, as a person, po, yung personality ko po kasi is I am a friendly person. Um, I get to hang out a lot of friends and uh, communicate with them and inspire them as well. That's why I'm, I'm being here, standing in front of you, 
giving you um, the motivation and as well as the uh, discipline kung paano po maging uh, isang pageant person or pageant mm. person. So you've just um, you're just done with your preliminary competition a while ago. Which segment do you like the most during the preliminary competition? So uh, the segment that I like the most is the part where um, we're wearing with our formal wear, um, doing the uh, formal walk. Um, I like the uh, formal walk because I was able to um, expose myself like um, checking on um, what attire I have, um, exposing the uh, designs of uh, my designer, uh, Alan Sopo, thank you for that, and uh, yeah, um, I, I very like the uh, part where we walk with our formal wears because napaka gentleman po as a Talisay representative from Cebu, mm -hmm. is there any pressure um, on representing the province, at least part of the province? Uh, pressure is there because, um, again, I'm not just representing myself here as a person, but I'm representing the province of Talisay. But I, I wouldn't want that um, to be the handguns in this um, pageant that I'm in right now because um, having this pressure, it is actually the strength that I have because growth is um, when you get through the pressure, you get the goal, you get the success. So, yeah. Wow, that's great! <laughs> um, what are you looking forward in this competition? Um, I mean, aside from winning the crown, which segment do you look forward, especially on the coronation night? So, uh, what I look forward to, aside from getting the crown, is actually um, keeping the experience that I have with my brothers mm -hmm. and also the camaraderie of the pageant itself of how hospitable the, especially the um, SPCF, kung saan tayo dito ngayon. And, um, yun po. Actually, um, aside from the coronation night, or aside from getting the crown, is yung experience po talaga. Yun po yung um, nakaka-excited po, nakaka-gandang tingnan, at nakaka-look back po sa akin pag tap natapos kayo mga panya. Okay. Um, it looks that you are very much confident and composed. Are you ready as well to... Or how do you handle failure na lang? So, I handle failure po. I think it is interconnected with pressure. Mm -hmm. So, um, yung failure po kasi, pag napipressure ka, Jun, the jan dada ni feel. Pero pag um, you treat yourself as a failure, you cannot go through what's out there. Mm -hmm. So if you go to with your comfort zone, which is thinking that you're a failure, that's not correct. Correct that mindset because you are a true successful. You have the best in you. You are a best person that that are here competing this pageant and as well as um, you know getting um, to know as well your um, self um, that this fits as well in um, don't think again um, don't think of the failing don't think of that you're being a failure think about um, how you go through with the failure and I know through that failure you get the success you want. And the process. And the process. Yes. All right. So, how did you prepare for your closer interview, which is happening later on? So, um, with that, I prepared a lot. Actually, um, I have this advocacy in mind that I have, which is um, promoting global brotherhood. Which I, I would say um, that 
we're in this interconnected world that um, unity is very crucial. Unity among nations is crucial. So that's why I urge men to lead the way in fostering understanding, cooperation, and diplomacy. Kaya po, um, ito pong um, patimpalak na ito or ito pong pageant na ito, gagamitin ko po para ma-express po yung advocacy ko, para makita ko yung um, ma-express ko po yung mga um, paano po uh, gawin yung unity at brotherhood. Alright, thank you so much Mel and um, I just would like to uh, congratulate you for making this far and as well um, wishing you all the best on your closer interview and of course on the finals happening tomorrow. Thank you then po Pajin Hi, my name is Francois Diaz from Pageant Mag Philippines. Welcome to our channel. So, how are you, Ken? Well, I'm doing good right now because after the preliminary competition. Mm -hmm. And, well, to be honest, it's a bit exhausted for me because from morning until uh, now evening, we've been a lot of... Uh, We've been a lot of interviews, performance, mm -hmm. and whatever it is that our body, physical and mental, mm -hmm. is being so exhausted. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you mentioned that um, you just finished your preliminary competition yes, yes, a while yes. back. How was it? Uh, if you're going to rate your... Uh, performance from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. How can you rate yourself? Well, um, I'm gonna rate it um, 8 because mm -hmm. there is something that I need to improve. There's a room for improvement. That is why uh, I believe that uh, every day is a learning process and okay. and I am actually um, manifesting my, my blessing right now to be able to join here in this competition. Wow. Can you share that blessing? Well, just kidding. Yes, no, it's fine because I am thir I am 37 right now and I am their wow. kuya. Yes, believe me. I am their kuya and um it's it's a great privilege and opportunity for me because um I met a lot of different people because um, as a Mr. Friendship International Philippines, you need to deal with different kinds of people, mm. different cultures, different norms, belief and that that makes me excited right now. Well, um, your age actually caught my attention when yes, you said yes, that you're yes. 37 years old. Mm -hmm. So what have you done from, you know, from your younger years? Yes, um, to be honest, I've been working in the fashion retail industry in Saudi Arabia. Wow. That is why, and, and I am um, not just a fat uh, person, but I am obese. My body and my face is not, not just like the same mm -hmm. on what you are, uh, what we are yes, looking now. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, so I hope, I hope that I could also, uh, I hope that I could also air that. Uh, yes, formal wear. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yes, <laughs> showcasing our uh, formal wear yeah. and also our advocacy. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is our main purpose. Oh, that is why we we join. Who designed your formal study? wear? Sabinian and Mendoza. Oh, see, I thought you designed yourself. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. um, one thing that I noticed in you is that you have a ring on your yeah. uh -huh, fingers. So, mm -hmm. can you tell us about that? Are you married, engaged? Well, I am proud to say I am single. The ring that I am uh, wearing right now is my investment when I was working in Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh. And I know gold is a very good investment nowadays and also properties. Because I'm working in a real estate right now under Mega World, such as that is why I am relocated here in Pampanga. Yes. Um, can go ahead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our project here is in Porak Manibog, Parilaya. Uh, I've been working in um, in real estate uh, again. Um, I'm a property specialist. Yeah. And we we actually sell um, virtual and horizontal. Like oh. condominium and house and that. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay. No worries. So, can um, aside from 
Okay. Yeah, aside from what you have mentioned earlier about uh, the, um, your intention of joining Mr. Mm -hmm. Friendship uh, International Philippines 2023, can you tell me uh, the significance of the crown itself? Well, I believe the crown, um, it's actually an advantage if you have a crown. But it's more on, I think, the responsibility. Because when you wear a crown, it's not just about you are representing yourself, but you are representing the whole community as well. And I am representing my hometown, which is Malabon. Mm -hmm. And what's the best of Malabon? <laughs> well, as we all know, Malabon, Pansit Malabon, and also, and also the delicacies, same here in Pampanga. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, I remember that you already finished as well your closer interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how was it? Well, it, it's a bit emotional because um, because one of the judge, uh, judges, yes, one of the judges asked me regarding my mother, and that is why I'm I'm a bit emotionally um, affected. Affected because I my mother died last two years ago, and it is it is something very close to my. Um, advocacy which is actually um, cancer awareness because my mother died last two years ago because of breast cancer and diabetes and my advocacy right now is having a ca cancer awareness so that the um, the people especially our younger generations uh, to practice healthy living and healthy eating okay um okay so what else <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's okay, so, it's okay. What okay, else? so sure, sure, sure. I can ask you something more interesting. Tell us. <laughs> ah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, thank you so much, Ken, for um, well, gracing our channel. And we are really very much um, honored to have you tonight. And good luck on your journey. And of course, um, good luck on your on the finals tomorrow yes yes you need to watch us uh, and also your family as well <laughs> and uh by the way it's a great privilege and opportunity for me uh because i you interviewed me it's it's a great opportunity for me once again it's a blessing for me my pleasure again and i hope you'll find your soulmates yeah thank you <laughs> Hi Norma, my name is Francois from Pageant Mag Philippines. So, how are you doing? Kumusta ka nga pala? Okay lang po. Masaya at nakaraos na po yung unang araw ng preliminary and bukas po panibagong pagsubok na lang po sa amin bilang mga kandidato po dito. Oh, kasi finals na bukas. Okay. Right? okay. Kumusta yung performance sa preliminary competition? You've done with the preliminary competition which is the swimwear and the formal wear, right? Tapos, after which followed by the closer interview. Kumusta yung mga yun? Okay naman po. Siyempre, wala naman pong madali sa pagsali sa ganito. Pero dahil ito po ang pinipili naming tahake na landas at dito po kami masaya. Eh, masaya po, siyempre. Talaga? Ano nagpapasaya sa iyo? Masaya po dahil sa pamamagitan po ng mga ganitong contest is na na-i-express na po namin yung sarili po namin. Hindi lamang po sa pagmamodelo, sa pagsusot o pagdadala po ng iba't ibang uri ng kasuotan at pati na rin po sa pagpapakita po ng kanya-kanya naming abilidad. Should I visit your province, Bulacan, no? Saan mo ako dadalhin? Uh, Siyempre po, dadalhin ko po kayo sa mismong bayan po namin, bayan po ng Plaridel. <coughs> nakilala po ang Plaridel sa... Uh, kung sa pagkain po, nakilala po yung Plaridel sa Goto po. Ah, Goto! Yes po. Mm -hmm. And tsaka po sa aming salubong festival po na... Uh, Uh, yeah, di na tayo ang salubong nyo. Salubong festival right? po ni Santiago Apostol po. Uh -oh. Ayun. So, gusto mo, gusto mo experience ko yun. Yes, po. What makes it special? Dahil yung patron po ng Santiago Apostol is meron po talagang nagmamayari na pamilya na, na nakatera po sa maliit na barangay po sa bayan po ng Blaritel. Kung saan po 
uh, tuwing sasabit po ang Des December 29, ito po ay hinahat, uh, sinusundo po sa simbahan at hinahatid naman po sa malawang linggo ng uh, ng January po sa pagbalik po sa bahay po. Ayun. So, so far, so, kumusta yung ano yung experience dito sa uh, Mr. Friendship International Philippines? Ano yung may babahagi mo sa amin na most memorable moment mo so far? Ito po yung para po sa akin, ano, uh, dahil po nakasali na rin naman po ako sa iba't ibang pageant po sa probinsya po ng Bulacan. Ito po yung parang first national pageant ko po at Mahirap po dahil yung mga naging co-candidates at mga naging kaibigan ko po dito is may kanya-kanya po silang probinsya gaya na lang po nang meron pong taga Mindanao, meron pong taga Visayas. Ayun Ayun po yung mahirap dahil ba, ba, ano ba, ba, baka po pagkatapos ng banyan na to hindi na po ulit kami magkita. Uh, Pero dahil po naging... Masisipunks ka na. Uh, po. Uh, ay lang nawawad pero ayun pa rin po gaya pa rin naman po ng ibang nasalihan kong budget papakita pa rin po ito na pagre-represent po sa kung ano po yung nire-represent po namin na lugar ay thank you so much you and wishing you all the best on your on the coronation tomorrow thank you po thank you for gracing Hi, Kevin or Ben or Kev, which Hi. one you may like. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Welcome to Pageant Mag Philippines. My name is Francois, by the way. Okay, so Kevin, this is your first time with me and with our audience. Could you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Kevin Pepito. I'm from Las Piñas and I'm currently um, representing my home city, which is Las Piñas. And, um, I'm a, I am a member of a nonprofit organization which is NHA Plaza which helps its aspiring models to help them boost their self-confidence and also we are doing some charity works like feeding program and also visiting orphanage. So what do you uh, proud the most about your city? Um, I'm very proud of my city because as you all know um, Las Piñas is well known in our Zap Zapote River, which is um, connected to Pasig River. So some of the um, water lily from Pasig was washed away to the um, Zapote River. So we think of innovative way to be profitable with the use of water lily. That's why um, we come up with the idea of using it to build a basket so that it will be profitable to other people. So I'm so proud of my um, city because we have that kind of idea that helping poor people, giving them um, livelihood by the use of um, abundant resources we have in our city. Wow, that's great. Yes. Um, I can see that this is your first time in the national pageant, Yes, it's right? my first So how, does, how, how was it? How do you feel about it? I feel a little bit pressure, but as well as I'm also grateful because I have the opportunity to compete in Mr. Friendship and use this as a platform to um, also inspire other people to be able to um, give them or live their best dream. So why did you choose Mr. Friendship uh, International Philippines among all the options um, of national pageants in the Philippines? Uh, because Mr. Friendship is not just about competition or pageant, it's about camaraderie and also brotherhood and that's what I want to experience in my first national pageant. Okay. Why should you be the Mr. Friendship International Philippines 2023? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a very tough question. But for me, we are all um, we are all um, equal should yeah we should we are all equal and have the opportunity to win the crown but for me um, I, I can see myself uh, to win the Mr. Friendship International Philippines because I give my motivate uh, determination and also I have the support uh, that I have in my hometown and also 
I can I want to use the platform of Mr. Friendship to um, to raise awareness as well because of the different um, issue in our society. I want to use their platform to spread awareness and also I want to I want to embody the mission and vision of Mr. Friendship. What makes Mr. Friendship International Philippines unique among all the national pageants we have in the Philippines? For me, the most unique characteristics that Mr. Friendship has is the yeah, camaraderie and also brotherhood. Um, we, we experience it um, during our stay here in Pampanga. We feel the connections between um, within candidates. So yeah, that's all. Okay. So good luck to you, you so Ken, and wishing you all the best so on much. the coronation night tomorrow. Yes, thank you so all much. Right. Please support us. Oh absolutely. Yes. Alright. God bless you always. Thank you. Yes. Hello, Mark. My name is Francois from Pageant Mag Philippines. So, how are you, Mark? It's been quite a long while. Yes, sir. So, so far, I'm good. Naman po. Uh, I'm looking forward for the exciting, exciting part of this pageant since I prepared so much for this pageant, physically, mentally, emotionally. And I cannot wait to the final coronation night tomorrow. Okay, yeah, that's really happening tomorrow already, yes. the finals, Karani. The finals, the final night. So, um, if you try to look back on your performance a while back from the preliminary or the pre-pageant events, which one do you like the most? Oh, recently lang po, yung swimwear competition, which I, I execute my body in, the, in front of a lot of people. Wherein I saw in the video that I have a good physique. Then I saw in the just in the mirror. So yun, I just surprised lang dito ko na oh yeah, kailan pa lang physics kaya. Wow, congratulations for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And since you started um the pageant, the competition few days ago, ano yung pinaka memorable sa you so far to this moment? Um, it will be the sashing ceremony because. There, we become a uh, official candidate of this pageant. So, if without that moment, we will not be here today. Wow. Now, uh, being the candidate for Bamban Tarla, oh, shit. No, no, uh, Batangas, right? Yeah, from Batangas. <laughs> being, Is that my sash, bro? <laughs> being a representative of. Uh, being a representative of Batangas. So Batangas is absolutely a big um, place to represent, right? Um, what's the best thing about Batangas? Of course, it's people. Naman. Every municipality province in Mabot, it's people ang kanila pinaka, pinakamayaman. Okay. If you are going, if I'm going to visit Batangas, where would you bring me? I will bring you to Lipa City, which is my hometown, and also the leader of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I can tour you in different churches in Lipa, since Lipa City is known for a lot of different churches. Mm -hmm. Catholic and, churches. And you're from Lipa, right? Yes, Lipa City. Okay, so what are your expectations for Mr. Friendship International Philippines 2022? Um, for me or for that? Yes, for you. Uh, your expectations yourself. First of all, my expectation is to win because if it's not my purpose in this budget, I will, it will not, I'm not going to be here. And yeah, there's an expectation to win. And also to gain experience where I can use in the future. Wow. All right. So, congratulations for making this far, Mr. Batangas or Mark. And looking forward on your um, coronation night. So, good luck to that and God bless you always. Thank you. Hi Ray, my name is Francois from Pageant Mag Philippines. Okay, welcome to our channel. How are you? I'm good. And I'm feeling great after the closer interview event. It's very 
So you're done with the poster interview and yeah, did you like it? Yeah, of course because uh, it's uh, no, uh, yeah, helped me a lot of uh, information about pageantry and of course, uh, what, what is the purpose of this pageantry? Okay, in your opinion, what's basically the purpose of Mr. Friendship International Philippines? Of course, we have a slogan which is embracing diversity mm -hmm. and inspiring generation. When we speak of diversity, what are um, well, what are the kinds of candidates that you are embracing, or I mean that the organization is embracing? Well, for me, I will stand uh, on my advocacy, which is uh, parenting and embracing of culture and belief, because. I want to end this cycle that we have a good change for a better nation because I believe there's a lot of issues nowadays like uh, discrimination of colors, culture, belief, and many more. And also poverty, crime, out of school youth, teenage pregnancy also, and harassment of all sorts which are all caused by the misbehavior of the people who live in the society. That's why I just want to end this cycle and have a good change for a better nation. Teenage pre pregnancy caught my attention actually and I'm very much interested on what you know about teenage pregnancy. How Can you educate me please? I just want to say that teenage pregnancy, because I have a lot of friends, mm -hmm. that they uh, they are not under age, like 18, 17, like that, and then going to pregnancy. Mm -hmm. But that's why I see the, the, the problem, the, the root of the issues nowadays like that. That's why I just want to simplify my advocacy, which is the parenting. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, it's, we all know that we have a lot of issues that we can, uh, that we can force to bring in a good and have a good change. So how are you going to somehow educate someone or your fellow um, teenagers or youth on teenage pregnancy, on avoiding it? Uh, for me, if given a chance, uh, I will organize events such as uh, seminars and workshops and we'll have a child psychologist and parenting uh, experts to educate those parents to this and with that everyone will realize how important it is uh, to have a better citizen for a better nation. and of course functional society all right that's great and yeah that's absolutely wonderful so um thank you so much for that thank information you so much, and you. thank you for gracing our um, channel. I'm looking forward as well on your performance tomorrow, yes, which is the final night. Yeah. So good luck and God bless you all. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Audio jungle.